Hi, my name is Marika Sinclair and in this video I will show you how I painted this cheetah in a wisteria tree and a bird in acrylics. So I'm starting with blending what's furthest back in my background, this sort of teal gradient from top to bottom, and I'm using a lot of paint for this with very little water. I did spray my surface with water first so it glides on easier, and I did two coats like this I think. Now that's done and dry, I have transferred my line drawing with white transfer paper and I'm filling in the tree trunks. Now the trunks are filled in, I did some lighter ones to look like they're fading in the distance and darker ones to look like they're closer to the viewer. And, and now I'm doing some branches. Doing a hint of leaf foliage in the background. And some moss on the tree up front. I want less and less detail the further back I go and more up front to create a sense of depth. I'm going to put the most detail on the tree the cheetah is sitting on because it's the closest one and that's where I want more of the focus to be. On to the wisteria, painting the stem inside first and then filling in all the purpley pink flowers. Shading. And some highlights. Every single petal has its own shadows and highlights. On to the rest. And I'm speeding up the video a bit since it's the same process for all of these flowers. I love these flowers, but they are a bit of work to paint. I think I took about four days on just these flowers. Not full days, but sessions. Filling in this branch with a grayish brown. It's more gray than brown.
and doing some ridges in the bark. And I will pull it all together with glazes later when I've got all the values in, so I'm not too worried about exact colors. I'm doing highlights with a light gray. Dabbing on some texture using just the tips of a bristle brush. Just a little bit, I don't want to overdo it. More highlights. And now I'm glazing that same greenish teal that I have in the background to make it all go together and feel like it's part of this forest. Putting down the basic shapes of the forest floor. Lights and darks and a little texture with the bristle brush again. Glazing over it with some blue and green. I almost always finish all my layers with glazes. It just pulls everything together and you can get your colors so vibrant if you want. Doing the rest of the forest floor the same way. And I wasn't sure how much detail I wanted back there. After all, I wanted the main focus on the cheetah. So I didn't work too much on the ground. Painting the biggest branch. Blocking in the lights and darks. And I wanted more contrast and detail in this one because it's the closest to the viewer. Painting some plants and wisteria petals.
starting the cheetah. I'm putting down a dark grayish brown over all of him first and the reason for this is so that my fur strokes will stand out really well against this dark base color. And here I have transferred my lines again and starting with blocking in all his black markings. And notice it's not just dots everywhere, but they actually curve around his body, which is really important to make him look more 3D. Painting his eyes. And here I'm starting to create his fur. I'm using a rake brush with unbleached titanium white and I'm only focusing on the fur texture, how it flows, how long and short it is, how it curves around his face and so on. And after that I will glaze the colors that I want on top of this. And so I'm doing all of this with just one color, unbleached titanium white. So I only have to focus on the details and some values. And it simplifies it so much. I don't have to sit and mix the correct color for every patch of fur. Instead I do it all at once. And here I am starting to glaze now. It's super watered down paint and I only put a little bit and smooth it out with a mop brush. And I like to put magenta and purple over and around the black spots to deepen them a bit. Moving on to the rest of the fur, only using unbleached titanium white again.
Here I am glazing some highlights with transparent mixing white. And some color. Touching up the fur a bit, showing a close-up of how my wig brush works. It takes a bit of practice before you get it right. Locking in the bird. And got my lines in. And starting with the eye. And then doing the details the same way I did the cheetah, just one color and the glazing later. Getting some shadows in. Just some final flower petals blowing in the wind. <laughs> 